Hi guys! So if you've been following me from the very, very beginning, then you'll know that my first video was of me detangling Summer's hair. And while that's still a great video, and I stand behind all those methods, Summer's hair has changed, and so my detangling method has also changed. Um, her hair is much longer now, it's a tighter curl, and I think most importantly, it's much more dense. And by dense, I mean there's more strands on her head. So I wanted to make an updated detangling video um, that kind of focused on detangling extremely tangled curly hair. So generally speaking, I try to keep Summer's hair from getting extremely tangled. It's going to get tangled because it's curly, but I'm talking about matted together tangled. I mean, I've seen her hair almost in one tangled clump. Don't ask. In fact, in this video, her hair isn't extremely tangled. It's kind of a little bit more tangled than normal. So the methods I use in this video will go much faster than if her hair was extremely detangled. So keep that in mind. I would say that it could take up to two hours if it's like crazy, ridiculous, worst case scenario tangled. So keep that in mind and patience is important. Of course, I could detangle her hair much faster than two hours if it was extremely tangled, but her hair would be extremely damaged. So taking your time and making sure you're not ripping your hair apart or your child's hair apart or whoever's hair apart while you're doing it is important if you want them to have healthy hair. Here I'm just using a crap load of conditioner. <laughs> I'm just gonna glob that onto her hair as you can see. And of course more conditioner. And if you can, try and break it into two sections or <laughs> put it into two sections. But if you can't, just work with one and I'm gonna be working with one section you would kind of do the same working the conditioner through method if it were two sections and you're doing that because you can't really separate the hair if it's extremely tangled and just use as much conditioner as you want um, it just helps with the slip I'm using Tresemme um, moisture rich or one for curls I'm not sure And you're going to work from the very end, um, the very, very end, and just gently work your way up. It's really easy here because your hair is kind of already detangled. And if it gets stuck like that, that means you just went up too high, go down a little bit further, and just be gentle and take your time. Then I kind of let it just fall apart into smaller sections when it just gets to a good point, And just work with the smaller section. And just gently work your way up a little bit more. And again, you can work down into even smaller sections and just keep on working your way up with that smaller section. And I like to get to kind of a midway point. I'm going to show you here. Second. Like about there. And then I stop. And I'm going to go through all of those little sections and getting it to that midway point. Right about there I'm just clipping it together so I can know what I did and then I'll just continue the process going up a little letting it break apart into smaller sections here all of her hair is detangled to that midway point and I'm gonna try and gently work apart a section at the nape of her neck I like to work from the bottom up but you can do whatever you want and then go into smaller sections with that and just re-detangle that little bit part that you detangled and then gently work your way up to the scalp. And here it's kind of stuck on that part so I'm just going to break it down into even smaller section. The smaller the section the easier it is to work with and work my way up to the scalp. Here I'm just showing you kind of how I finger part it into another row. Of just smaller workable sections and I just go row row all the way up. So. Here all of her hair is detangled. You can run your fingers through it. Great. You can rinse it out at this point or you can do what I do and I just smooth all the conditioner out or I do the tightly curly method. But here I'm smoothing all of the conditioner out 
and I'm just showing you two ways that I kind of hold my hands when I smooth it out and I wipe it on the towel and it rinses out very easily. Or you can leave it in and do the tightly curly method. And I'll show you a little demo right here. So letting the curls clump together and smoothing it out. Not really trying to get the conditioner out, but just smoothing each curl so they're defined. All right guys, I hope that helped you. And if you wanna see me making a video talking about the ways that I try and avoid worst case tangle scenario, let me know and I will make that video. Bye.